Nakarang video ating napag-usapan ang pag-express ng mixed number as a fraction. Okay? So, if you wanna check it out, pwede nyong tingnan din sa description. Okay? Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin yung ka kabaligtaran niya. Okay? So, nung una, mixed number, okay? Mixed number, ginawa natin fraction. Ngayon naman, from fraction, gawin natin mixed number. Okay? So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's have examples. Okay, so 9 halves. Okay, so kapag uh, ginagawa natin yung proseso ng pagsusulat ng fraction as a mixed number, okay, meron tayong goal. Okay, so it should be a, uh, a fraction or a mixed number kasi it consists a whole number and a fraction. Okay, so ano ba yung ilalagay natin dito sa whole number niya. Okay, so that would be the quotient. Okay? Kung ano yung quotient, papag-usapan natin mamaya. Okay? Itong, ito naman, itong nasa taas niya, kasi a combination of a whole number and a fraction. Okay, yung sa numerator natin would be the remainder, and dito naman sa baba niya would be the divisor. Okay? So, ito yung general form natin ng, ng resulta ng pag-express ng fraction as a mixed number. Okay, so kung paano gawing mixed number ito, let's have the step-by-step -step process. Okay. So, 9 divided by 2. Okay, kasi ang fraction, uh, parang uh, magdi-divide ka lang dyan. Okay, so 9 divided by 2. 9 divided by 2. So, 9 divided by 2, that is 4. 4 times 2, 8. Siyempre, 9 minus 8, 1. Okay. Ngayon, ang uh, mixed number equivalent ng fraction na to would be yung Q quotient. Ano yung quotient natin? 4. Okay. Then, may katabi siyang fraction. Remainder, 1. Okay. Ang divisor natin, ano yung divide natin? 2. Okay. So, yan yung ating sagot. So, let's consider this second example. Okay. 18 divided by 5. So, 18 divided by 5, 3. 3 times 5, 15. 18 minus 15, 3. Okay. So, yung uh, equivalent nito sa mixed number ay, okay, the quotient, 3. Okay. May kas katabi siyang fraction. Yung fraction na yan, yung nasa numerator niya or yung numerator niya ay, the remainder, remainder 3, and the over the denominator or yung divisor natin na 5. Okay, next, let's consider 33 over 4. Okay, so, let's divide. So, 33 divided by 4. Okay, so 33 divided by 4. 8. 8 times 4, 32. Okay, so get the difference, 1. Okay, so we have the quotient. Okay, ang quotient, uulitin natin, that is the result when a division uh, process is performed. Okay, itong R natin, the remainder, 1 over the divisor, 4. Okay, next, last. How about 58 over 5? Okay. So, syempre, 58 divided by 5. So, 5 divided by 5, 1. 1 times 5, 5. Okay, so 5 minus 5, 0. Bring down 8. 8 divided by 5, 1. 1 times 5, 5. Okay, get the difference? That is 3. So, yung sagot natin, okay, yung equivalent nito sa mixed number ay yung quotient. Okay, 11. May katapis siyang fraction. The remainder. What is the remainder? 3. Okay, yung divisor natin, okay, 5. Okay, so that is how you're gonna express a fraction as a mixed